to the last <laughs> after all. But, uh, but, um, so that's what, or that happened. And, um, yeah. So the other dotted line, you see that dotted line there? At Brindam? Uh, yeah. I see that. Everything that's dotted is owned by the Soda China Clay Works. The Soda China Clay Company owns that dotted line. This is not a part of the Northwestern Rail Line. It is a, a separate rail line, the only a separate a rail line that's standard gauge, which is on the island of Sodor. It was built in the 70s to ship China clay from the mines at the end of that line to Brendam to ship it out and transfer to the main line to ship it across the rail system. I'm so, for... Sorry, um, if you like, continue. So, this line, um, so yeah, the China Clay Works is in the middle of there, and they ship it out, and the only thing using this port is the China Clay coming out of that factory. So this is where, um, this is where Boko st stole the ch clay that was designated to be going on ships. He was new, so he picked the wrong lines. He wandered onto Bill and Ben's rail line, and he didn't pick up the one waiting for him to be t taken to, um, to Tidmouth. Well, even though it took place in Weather Wellsworth, he took it to Tidmouth and uh, to Wellsworth on the way to Tidmouth, and then that's where the diesel comes in. But then, okay. um, and then so Boko was bought. But Boko was bought at the same time to handle the extra China clay traffic from Brindam to Tidmouth in nineteen seventies. I see. So then, let's talk about Edward in the modern day branch line. So he pulls the passenger trains, as well as when he's off duty, he waits at Wellsworth for any large trains going up the hill, basically to help push the back of them. So he helps with very long trains up the hill. He's backing engine. And Wellsworth is also quite a large junction. There's, um, there's infrastructure there to do with the junction. It's not that big of a town. It's actually a very small town, but it's a junction. So that's the modern day Brendan Branch line. Um, I realize I did this without even realizing it, but I actually build a smaller line on my layouts that actually goes to China Clay Works. So I guess by sheer coincidence, I accidentally built that small child clay line. Even yeah, and then here's just a little fun fact: the whole there's a huge amount of that small line that floods during certain times of the year. It's called the drain. It's this whole valley. Um, I, that, I saw that story. Yeah, you might have saw it in Scarlet Railway One, and then episode yeah, two of my series. And episode and two of my series had a reference to it. Um, yes. So that's that. And then let's talk about modern day Ducks Branch Line. So modern day, well, we have to talk about the Arsdale Line. So basically what happened in the story Ballast, uh, they built this new rail line to transport the mine waste from uh, Allendale area. There's a whole bunch of mines in that area. In Allendale, there's a whole bunch of small little For some reason, all the ballast goes there, and then that is divided up throughout the whole island, as well as some trains are sent to the mainland. And then this ballast is toxic, so weeds don't grow in it. <laughs> so that is the story of that line. And, and they also pull things like wool at certain seasons is big traffic. They pull odd goods. They pull a few other things, too, and they have a lot of passenger trains, too. And then the only wooden railway figures you can buy for them is Frank and Mike. Unless you make custom ones. 
Not to make custom ones. Yeah. I hope they re reintroduce Mike so then I can make a, a custom um, of the rest. <laughs> but, uh, Instead of just like building a separate art stereo, at least just like build a small ballast mine kind of thing. And then that's where like Mike and Frank will work. Yeah, and that could work. Yeah. And then the R's, the Ducks branch line. Um, yeah, so this is where a lot of things happen. So Duck and Oliver, you have half hourly trains they pull out of either end of the line, going to the other end. Uh, this is now a big passenger route. There's a lot of passengers that commute between there. Arsdale, Arsberg has become a big commuter city to Tidmouth. Because it's a lot, um, hypothetically, it's a lot better to live in. It's a lot um, smaller of a town. It has a better lifestyle. So there's a lot of people commuting out of there into Tidmouth. And um, so that's what Ducks Branch Line is. And they have trains every half hour on peak times. And every hour on peak times, Oliver and Duck pull together either direction. And then for any, and then during nights, or during off-peak times, it can pull freight trains, and then it, on over-peak times, Donald Douglas are sent in to help. When I'm talking about Donald Douglas, they are basically the goods trains, Everywhere. the good engines of the island. Yeah. Everywhere except for Thomas's branch line, Peel God line, and um, other branch lines. Basically, the mainland, my, mainland, Brendam, and Osberg branch lines, those are the, they're the freight locomotives for that, and Henry. So any freight train, any freight train that Bogo can handle in Edwards line, any freight train that Donald and uh, Oliver and Duck can handle on the Arsberg branch line, and any freight train that James and Henry can handle on the main line, they'll pull. And they also shunt in Atford or Tidmouth, and they also shunt or are sometimes backing engines at Wellsworth. They're odds jobs engines. They can do almost any job of the rail line. Very and they're small enough to fit on branch line bridges. Um, Gordon and Henry are too large tech legally to go on a lot of bridges on the branch lines. And um, so for train operations, they're not allowed to go on them. And, but, uh, Wait, don't... If Gordon's too big, then how do you make it all the way to Brendan without any problems? Luck. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. Um, but legally, they're not supposed to go on any of the branch lines, except for the, technically, the Kirk, the God Red Rail Line, they're allowed to go on. And also, the Kirk Royale branch line has also a similar commuter service that uh, the Norman D branch line ha has with the main line. So there's diesel locomotives that are run off British Rail going through all of the other half of the railway. And by the way, there's a joint works of the three, the four railways on the island have a joint work at Crovens Gate. Crohn's Gate's supposed to be, like, the largest, like, repair yard in the whole area, right? Yeah. Yeah, Crovens Gate has actually become the best steam locomotive repair lot yard in uh, almost all of Europe now. Because, uh, the basically, remember how Henry was sent to crew after his accident? Um, yeah. His crew was, like, all of England, so it was massive. Um, crew and a few other places, but so it was massive. And um, so then after that was closed down for steam locomotives, they had to build remember, something um, else. Sorry, but I remember, you know, the, episode, um, the book Overhaul, when Henry needed an overhaul, he said crew couldn't do what he needed, so they actually sent to their own works. Exactly, okay. because it's because crew didn't deal with steam locomotives, because after, in the 70s onwards, they didn't have steam locomotives allowed to be on crew in, like... There was none left in the rest of mainland England. So they were sent to Crovens Gate to be repaired there. And then the yard started to build. Then they had a joint partnership with the Scarlowie Rail Line. And then they had a joint pa partnership later with the other parts of Sodor, um, with the Corderville Mountain and other parts. Now this rail line is almost, I would say, is the scarcest known of any rail line. And it took me actual a very, very hard to find out what these lines meant. 
Do you see in the north end of the island? Do you see the dotted line? The north. Well, I had to um check something real quickly. Yeah. Um. So where at the north end? The very north end of the island. No. Do you see the dotted line? Yeah. So that rail line was built in between. It was built in the, um, I think it was built in the 1920s. The original intention, it was a standard gauge line. The original intention was to build from um, Hedrick up through the interior of Sodor and cross around. You see how there's kind of a lighter area between that uh, lake? And then you could kind of like almost curve around there. Yeah. Yeah. And then get into Pe- Peel Godred, and then go down to Kronk. Yeah. That was that rail line's intention. I I know very little about it. I know that was its overall intention. I knew it served a little um, quarry where you can see it on the map. And I know it was torn up during World War II because of needs for steel. Well, they love her! We've been lecturing for hours, Lego Lover. Good God, We've been missing out. Two hours? Yeah, you missed, yeah, you missed everything. We've, well, been, I'm still here. Them, we've been learning I'm the Isle of them Sodor. A historical geography railroad. Sure. You know the Ministry of Defense Enterprise the Engine series? Everything. It's real. It's actually a real location on Sodor. Yeah. I mean... They, they sold it to buy the Lake Loop and... Um, Falcon and then Peter Sam. They sold the quarries off. And uh, so that was actually very true. So, um, anyways, so this, that rail line in the north, um, it's very, very little is known about it. The original intention was to keep building all the way down to Kronk and um, around that little low lying area. So, but then that had to be ended because the money ran out on it. And during World War II, they needed the steel. And that's that rail line. And that pretty much covers, oh, Alstead. Basically the only major city on the island not to have some form of railway connection, as well as Hagewick. Now, Alstead, so much dead. You Alstead just cleared it. So, Alstead, oh, it, the only, only only connection with railways Alstead has had, there was an original plan that the Mitsoto was going to build to it, a branch line to it. But then they ran out of money, so they couldn't build it. They, there was a castle on the city, and for a small point, in the 16th century, it was the capital of Sodor. Uh, it has many old stone... Um, it has many old stone buildings, very uh, gothic area oh my God. Era construction, and it's all um, it's all medieval looking. Interesting. Um, there has been several proposals to build the um, Farquhar branch line out to extend to it, but uh, nothing's taken has taken to that yet. You just gave me a great idea for a backstory on Bertram. Because I've always had this theory that Old State Castle was the same castle from Toby's Discovery. Because, you know, I had a mine nearby, and the castle was nearby, too. So, yeah. and plus yeah. there's an Aragese mine nearby, too. So that kind of, like, looked like a giant connection. I could see that happening. How I could see it happening is, um, okay, let's say the um, Midsoda was able to build the Olfstead, and then, um, at the same time, the Northwestern I... built to it, and, uh, then that line was forgotten about for some reason, and then uh, they would have merged there. A great idea for an episode. Basically, it's like it's about like Bertram's side, like it's like they're trying to join the lines together. And Bertram's like working on it, but I guess like the plan doesn't work out. So Bertram's long and forgotten. This explains like how he was left out in the side. It's kind of like Bertram's backstory kind of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Which makes sense. And also, fun fact. Mavis and Bill and Ben do not work together. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I know. That's fake. Oh, and uh, Bill and Ben, they're, um, Nowadays, they are, are Mavis, special engines with low caps. And Bert. What'd you say, Train Bill King? and Ben are built with special... 
Unglaublich. <laughs> anyway, I was saying that nowadays now, Brenner has made it so Ari and Bert help out um, Mavis at the core, even though they really should be like, I always envision that they're shown at either like Ironworks and like Barrow or like somewhere like on Vickerstown. Yeah. So I always thought it's like Vickerstown yeah. is like a very industrial area. With like lots of stuff, like factories and oil refineries. Yeah, and, and the like so-called diesel works, works is there too. It is very um, industrial. It is a very industrial city, but uh, it's mostly suburban. A lot of it's suburban commuters into Barrow and Furness, and then um, Barrow has a roundhouse, which is still currently used by the Northwestern Railway. Um, by the way, it has another roundhouse used by the Northwestern Railway. Cool. And it has a large station. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> there's a comment. Bill and Ben are tank engine terrorists. Each has four wheels, tiny chimney and dome, and a small machine gun. Their freight cars are filled with ammunition. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but then, um, they are built with special low cabs because of a low-hanging bridge on the line, which they couldn't negotiate the roadway to change when they built the rail line. Um, so that's the story of that. So is there anything else to go over? Uh, do you have any questions at all? There's probably more stuff that I'm not remembering. 